welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie with Daisy Gem. Thank you for watching. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, also give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. In today's video, we're doing a Mass Monday. So welcome, welcome to my channel, welcome back. Welcome to another day of Mass Monday. I'm doing another peel challenge because I do have quite a bit of a peel uh, masks, which I'm okay with. I know some people might find it a little abrasive, you know, at times, but I like it. I like peel masks. But anyway, so this is the peel mask that we're using. Is the by the Crimp Shop. I got tagged by Erica Conger to do an A through Z eyeshadow palette. The letter A for Aether Beauty. I got this in one of my uh, boxy, uh, I think Glam Bag, Glam Bag X boxes. They, have, they were having the Aether Beauty eyeshadows, and I love the color story. Love the shimmers that were in this palette. I had created a really nice eye look with this. I think I created more than just one eye look with this. And it's a really nice palette. It's not an everyday palette to wear. You can if you like to wear purples every single day. Or if you like to wear the, even the, the single shadows that are in here. That's very fine. Uh, the formula, I love the formula of this palette. Uh, the shimmers are, I mean, they're really soft and buttery. Um, I think there's only maybe a few mattes in here. But I think mostly they're like shimmers. And they're very smooth and buttery. Buttery smooth. So... That's one of my favorite palettes, which is the Aether Beauty. The Butter London. Butter London. I don't know how I felt about this palette the first time I, I seen this palette, the Titty Boy palette. I don't know how I felt about it. Uh, but I got it in one of the, also another add-on because it wasn't in my box. And this is how, the, how it looks like from the inside. And I gotta say, I loved the look I created with this eyeshadow palette. I did this in one of my Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesdays. And I love the way this came out. I love the eye look that, that, um, that turned out in this uh, in this palette with these shades. I loved it. Uh, they were buttery smooth. Loved the formula Didn't have a hard time or anything like that putting them on uh, You know blending or anything like that. So C for Colourpop My Ooh La La palette. I just recently recently used this palette. It's a, it's a new palette that I just recently used. For me it's new but to some is not and The formula, on, I'm telling you, you cannot, I don't know. Colourpop's formula is really like really nice formula and love the way that the look turned out all right so this is another favorite of mine the color pop and then the ooh la la the next one d for darth vader the star wars darth vader palette from color pop this one was one of my favorite palettes as well i love the formula tell me color pop has a good formula that i love these are the shades in them. I created two eye looks with this. One one um, on camera and then another eye look for a different video. Um, so off camera, I did another look with this. So I, I used it twice. And I love the shades in here. Uh, it's into, it was intimidating for me at first, but then once I got to you once I got used to the color story and the color placement of these shadows, I got used to this dark dark. Darth Vader, I was going to say Dark Vader, <laughs> uh, Darth Vader palettes, I got used to that. So, brings me to E, which is my Violet Voss Essentials palette. This one is a very nice uh, palette, everyday palette you can wear. It has your, I love this emerald green, it has the nice, it has shimmers, it has mattes. So, I wore this in one of my Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesdays. And I love the performance of the shadows. I love the pigmentation. I just I just loved it in total. I just loved it completely. F, F is for Falling For You, which is another new palette that I used in one of my collabs. And um, yeah, I loved the way these shadows just came on. I love the color story. The color story is real, real, was real beautiful. It is real beautiful, not was, and it's, it's brand new. So you can tell like, like it was it was very like barely barely used. So I love love the way these shadows just blended real well. The color was the pigmentation was there. I didn't have a hard time with any of these shadows. Falling for you by Ace Beauty. G. We got the Bibella Go Pro palette. I tried this in another collab that I used. Um, I believe it was called an I had a masquerade look that I did. And I used the glitters in here and so, and the, sh the shadows. I used, I think, the green row. And I used two glitters. I think I used these two glitters in that masquerade 
uh, collab that I did. Love the colors. H, Huda Beauty. So this is one of my first Huda Beauty products that I've used. I haven't used any like, from eyeshadow palettes. I haven't used any other eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty but this one. And this became uh, one of my favorites. It's the Amethyst Obsession. Look at this beautiful color story. You get, looks like you're getting like more of the darker end of the, of the purple side. But then you also are getting like the lighter middle toned shades of shimmer in here down the middle. You're getting this one shade looks like a pink shade, but it's really, I think it's like a, yeah, it's like, a, it's, it's like pinkish purple, but I think it's mostly like on the more sh pink shimmer side, but it's a really nice color story. I really loved it. Loved the way it performed. Um, yeah, so that's H for Huda Beauty. I, Item Beauty by Addison Ray. This palette, I liked, I used this in one of my uh, Get Ready With Me's. I did, I used this one to get ready with me for a, to go to work. It was a neutral palette and I created a really nice look with it. I love the, the formula. First impressions of it, I liked, I liked it. First impressions of it, I liked it. So that's I for Item Beauty. Okay, let's go to J, which is a palette I used from Juvia's Place. I used this in one of uh, a collab that I did in one of my White Gash on Wednesdays. This is the I Love, uh, the I Live I Love collection series Ice, and I love. You know what? I love this palette, even though it's like an all blue palette. I don't know. I'm not very fond of blue, but this is more like a periwinkle blue. But Look at this glitter. This glitter is what really got me. You know me and glitters. I love glitters. You know, I just don't use them a lot because they are messy. But the color story is lovely. I love I love this shimmer as well. I love the I love, I love the Juvia's Place formula. It is I mean, Juvia's Place formula is like one of the formulas that are like one of my top tier formula uh brands that I love that I love really. So um, all the shadows in here performed real well and they were they glided you know they, they blended real well they um I don't know I, they're I mean there's they're smooth they're just it's just everything <laughs> this palette is just everything so it brings me to K my Kaja Sackables I have three of them I have the Dahlia the Chocolate Dahlia which is this one here I have the Glowing Guayaba, which is this one here, and then I got the Hella Azalea. They all perform buttery smooth. Their shimmer shadows are one of my favorite shimmers, you know, to put as toppers to your eyeshadows. I love the way the, even the mattes, how they, they're, they're satiny mattes. You know, they, um, they're satiny mattes. They're like, their mattes just, just just come on real smooth. I was able to, you know, create really nice eye looks with these. I had no issues with blending, no issues with patchiness or anything like that with these eyeshadows, with the Kaja Beauty stackable eyeshadows. So that's K, K L N L H I J K L. <laughs> I know my alphabet. K H I J K L, which is Life in Pastel by B Bell. I did this another um YK eyeshadow Wednesday and I loved the color story in this palette I love the look that I created with this color story even though the the formula is not how I really it was not up to par for like my my um my liking the formula but it's a good palette I mean um I don't knock it it just like the formula is not like one of one of my favorite formulas but I love the color. I mean, it came on. Some shadows were more pigmented than others. So that's why I had that kind of like, you know, kind of iffy uh, mixed, I guess I should say, mixed uh, feelings about this palette. But overall and everything, when I did the eye, when I did the, create the eye look, I don't know if it was the glitter or the shimmers or another, another shade, you know, that made the look just made it look complete. And so yeah, I like the way the look, the eye look turned out with these, with this eyeshadow palette. So I do like this palette. Um, that's L, L, M. For moods, by Laura Sanchez, this is a really nice palette. 
even though the palette looks kind of plain it looks like it's oh there's nothing special about it believe me these shadows they glide on smooth and buttery they um i love the soft tone of these colors because they're not too pigmented and they're not lightly pigmented they're just right and then these shades up here make your look pop more it'll give you more of like a um more of like a holographic look or it'll give you more of like a more shimmery look um i just love the way this per this performed and i love the eye look that i created with this eyeshadow palette even though it was one eye look that i that i create with it i created with this um i love the the way it turned out you know the look that i created with it and i used all of the shades so uh yeah that's m for laura sanchez moods palette Brings me to N, which is the Natasha Denona. All of the Natasha Denona's palettes I loved. Uh, this is one that I actually um, really enjoyed between. I had actually used this one, this one, and the Ayana one. This is the Jubilee. I like the way the Ayana one, the the Ayana one looked as well. I love the way all of them performed and the way they all turned out. Uh, this one was more more of like an adventurous type of palette and it looked really nice i thought this was a black shade but actually it's a really nice blue a nice like navy blue shade but i really do like the way these uh these shimmers glided on like butter and this shim this is like a, a matte like a satin matte and they glided on like butter as well and these matte shades oh my goodness they are they are very lovely i mean so this is one of my favorite palettes uh, from Natasha Denona that I've that I've tried, along with the Ayana one. Those are the only two that I've tried so far. I haven't tried any of her other Natasha Denona palettes, but so yeah, in this brings me to in one of my favorite palettes, Natasha Denona Jubilee, Natasha Denona Jubilee. And oh, so Olive, Olive, you forever. This is this became one of my favorite palettes as well from Violet Voss. Um, love the fall color story in here i created an eye look with this in one of my um i believe it was in a uh in a collab i love the way this looked the the look that turned out with this palette i love the way it turned out and um i fell in love with the mattes and the shimmers really nice formula i love the formula in this palette one of my favorites so yes all of you from violet boss is well, all of you all of you forever uh from violet boss is another favorite mine oh P that brings me to P which is the pinky rose exotic peacock palette this one became a really good uh, fave on my channel a lot of I had a lot of views on this palette and um, I love the color story you get in your blues and your purples you know a lot of people love blues and purples and you're getting some of those you know extra shades in here that um that you can use to create you know really nice different adventurous looks <laughs> i should say adventurous looks so yes exotic peacock by pinky rose pinky rose p that brings me to p q so q would be my colored rain queen uh queen of hearts palette have not used this palette brand new in the box yeah, so there goes the color story. Really pretty color story. I don't want to blind you there, but yeah, really beautiful color story. You're getting some purples. You're getting some, you know, like berry tones. Uh, you're getting neutrals. I don't know, just really nice, a really nice eyeshadow palette. I have not gotten, I haven't had the, the chance to play with this palette, but I will pretty soon. All right, so that's Q, brings me to R, Q, R, which is by Profusions. This is this is not a brand name product, but it is one that became one of my, uh, one of my favorite um, palettes, Profusion Royals. Uh, Profusions do come out with some good um, shadows as far as like the formula goes. The formula is okay, it's mediocre, but it does, it does give you some really nice um it does come on really nice and it's very affordable 
and I like this palette a lot. Worlds, um, if I can swatch them for you, I'd be here forever. But the one that I do want to swatch for you guys to show you what I'm talking about, how beautiful this this palette looks like. This is the one that really got me was this holographic shade that's in it. A nice holographic shade in this Worlds palette. So did love this palette the shades in this palette the color story and how the shadows came on you know so yes i really do like that so it brings me to s which is in morphe sour patch kids this is one of my fit my first palettes i use for my wacky eyeshadow wednesdays uh here we go it's a really bright palette but you got some shimmers here that really correspond to some of these matte shades and I really loved it. I loved it a lot. I like the way this performed and I think this is one that I will be wearing again in the near future either even for as an everyday look because you got some pinks in here you can add some shimmers you got some purples you got all kinds of colors that you can wear even though it looks like a very um, adventurous palette <laughs> you can still wear it you can still wear some of these shades that are in here like on a day-to-day -day basis I mean you got your blacks your reds you can um, you can create really nice habits and then the shimmers is, is what really kind of makes the eye look when you add those shimmers to your eye look is what makes them so yeah Morphe Sour Patch Kids palette didn't regret buying this one so that brings me to T which is one of the ones that I just used in a collab with uh, Erica Conger is a it was a today tonight eye look and it's my Tati Beauty Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1. Okay, so it's my Volume 1. And I really loved this. I fell in love with this palette. I did. I should have played with it a lot sooner. But I didn't. Because I just, I'm just, just like a, I'm just a quarter that way. <laughs> I'm sorry to say but I am I, I didn't want to touch any of the colors I just I was just I just wanted to stay pristine in the way it was but I was like let me bust it out and try it out and see how it, I love this is one of my favorite palettes so if I ever were caught in a fire at home this would be the palette that I would grab from all the palettes that I have here I think this would be the one palette that I would have grabbed from all my collections that I have so far that I've tried because I haven't tried any other palettes that I would say that would outdo this this palette that I've tried so this would be one of the ones that I would definitely keep on my vanity you know it's a, it's a palette you can wear like an everyday day to night look as well so that's T for Tati now we're going to U this is the ultimate nudes by Ellen Tracy this one I got at a raw store I did this just to do as a regular look to create with you know nude shades because uh, I wanted to show you how how of a nice look you can create with really soft nudes and this one has a variety of nudes in here like a variety of uh, different shades of nudes because you got your green nudes and even though they're different colors they're still considered like nudes because they're 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 just like lighter than neutral i should say lighter than neutral shades so i really thought that palette was a little unique in that way so yeah i like that as well the way it performed though i mean i guess it performed just fine yeah the formula is just not one of my favorite formulas but it, it performed just fine so that brings me to let me pick yours t u v which is the Venus 3 palette. Oh my goodness. I did this in another white cash on Wednesday. I used this palette in my white cash on Wednesday um, collab. And these are the shades that are in it. Oh my goodness. I fell in love with this palette the, fir the very first time that I tried this in, in that video. I fell in love with it. I was like, I have to. I, this is something that I, I'd have to use and keep on my vanity as well because it, it, it was, I mean, the formula was really well that performed really well it blended really well it checked all my boxes off my checklist you know there was nothing bad that I can say about this palette just that it it's not nothing bad I can say about that palette so I did like that one so that's V W so W are my wanderers my wander 
beauty palettes i got the wondrous one and i got the seascape i have more but i just grabbed these just to show you the color stories in these i love the shimmers in these i love the color story in these love the formula wonder beauty is one of my favorite formula uh one of my favorite formula brands everything from wonder beauty look at this one this one is so beautiful this reminds me of a this is, this is like a really nice fall palette you know it reminds me of like a cinnamon type palette gingerbread cinnamon type palette palette but wander beauty i'm telling you when it comes to their, to their eyeshadows foundations eyeliners mascara anything that comes with from wander beauty has not disappointed me not once has not disappointed me in their formula in any of their products on their in any of their line it has not disappointed me at all i don't know how y'all feel about that about wonder beauty but wonder beauty it was one of the ones that i you know all across the board i loved all their their line of beauty products so x so this brings me to the 35 xo i have not used this palette yet so by morphe so brand in the in the box and hopefully it's not damaged it wasn't when i got it the first time so hopefully it's not damaged now nope so this is how the color story looks like more of a springtime color story that's the reason why i have not used it yet i'm waiting for the spring to come around so that i can start using some of my palettes that i have not been able to to take advantage of i have not been able to use any of my eyeshadow palettes that i that i've been wanting to use i just I'm just like I said, I'm just a hoarder that way. Yeah. Story of my life, right? <laughs> so, really beautiful palette. Love that. 35XO. Okay, the next palette here, X, XY, which is my 35Y palette. This is not a Morphe palette or anything like that, but it's an off brand. Can't remember the name of the brand, but this is a 35Y palette. And this one is just like your typical. Uh, you know, color story, you know, like the um, reds, the oranges, uh, greens, blues. You're getting, you know, your neutrals in here, like your browns and your blacks. Um, so you, this is some more of like a, it's more like a natural palette, neutral, like a everyday palette that you can wear, you know, that you can actually create a look to wear on an everyday basis whether you want you're wearing something green you have your green whether you're wearing something blue you have all the color like you know a lot of the colors that you would normally typically wear look like on a daily basis you know on your outfits that you would wear on a daily basis you can create an eye look with this palette with the shades that are in here so that's brings me to why and the last palette in here that i have is z which brings me to the bh cosmetics Z zodiac palette this one is also one of my favorite formulas. They're they're buttery smooth. Love the shades. Love the color story. This is a, a metallic grungy look, grungy type of palette. So, uh, grunge is my style. I love grunge, and um, I shouldn't say it's just my style, but grunge is one of my styles that I like to that I like to use. So yeah that's really nice you get some mattes in there and then you get you get that highlighter right in the middle right there you're getting some metallic shades on the sides here for the shimmers so that's z so that brought brought me to z so that is everything those that is my challenge my my tag challenge by erica conger i'll go ahead and put her her video link down below or i'll just mention her down below so she can watch this mass monday and show her that I did the challenge. All right. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm not going to tag anyone on this. It's just your free will. If you want to go ahead and do the A through Z uh, palette, you know, it did take me quite a while to get this collection together. That's the reason why it took me a while to even do this. But I decided, hey, it's past Monday. We really don't have any spoilers to show you about any other about about products. So I felt like, well, might as well show you my A to Z palette collection. And I'm going to go ahead and take this, I'm going to peel this mask off. And I'm going to see if this time around, just trying to loosen it up, 
it comes off all together because this was kind of different. You see on this side here, I kind of put very little to hardly anything. So we'll see if it'll tear. I don't know. We'll see. I'll come back and show you. Okay, another successful peel challenge. It didn't tear on me. You can see it's intact from the side. Another, another successful challenge. There we go. <laughs> um, I didn't get to show you what it looks like from the inside. It, it has little, it had like little glitter and stars. I want to say for glitzy gem, glitter and stars. I'll show you the the inside of this of this um this mask it looks like this it looks like it's just a gray like it's just gray but when you mix it it's really watery it's very 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 watery so i like i really like this i didn't know how i was gonna feel about it but i i really do like this um mask because it's it wasn't even harsh on my skin this is one of the one of the best peel off masks that I've tried so far as far as like hurting. If you if you if you want a peel off mask that will not give you that tug that 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 is so painful whenever you tug it off, it's very like a very watery consistency as you can tell. You'd want to get this. This is by the Crimp Shop, the Glitter Sweet. They have it in two shades, but I got it in black mud because the other ones were sold out. So yeah, and it has like little stars in there. You just mix the, it has a spatula as well. You mix it in and then you, it, it starts to bring up the stars and the glitter out to be able to see it in the, in the mask. So we really liked the way this, I really liked the way this performed and it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't really hurt. It didn't hurt at all. So if you're one of those people that, don't like masks that tug or hurt you should try you should check this check this out I don't think they sell it on um, box to charm anymore but check this out all right well thank you all for watching thank you for joining me here today taking time out of your day to join me in this mask Monday and I hope you have a wonderful week hope you have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you in my next one I love you all bye Forgot to mention that it's also gluten free, gluten free, paraben free, and cruelty free. Gluten free, paraben, and cruelty. Just wanted to add that in there. All right, for my gluten free, paraben free lovers, <laughs> cruelty free lovers. Bye.